8% of Zimbabwe's bank workers were retrenched in 2019. The country's deep economic crisis partially explains that trend, but not all of it. A move towards more automation of services also led to job cuts, and those who still remain could soon be in the firing line. As CGTN's Farai Mokotoya now reports, they are being urged to reskill or risk getting left behind. A shrinking formal sector has whittled down the bankable population. At the same time, operating costs have been escalating, piling pressure on financial institutions. This, even before we talk about cash shortages, which have accelerated the need for rationalization. Even if I was an executive of a bank, and I'm looking at the cost of having nine bank tellers um, versus you know, just having two or just digitizing my process, it's much more efficient, uh, the audit trail is better. Um, you know, so many things are better when you're doing things um, using that ICT space. About 300 employees out of an estimated 4,000 strong banking sector workforce were laid off in 2019 under labor laws that allow employers to dismiss workers on notice and only pay them two weeks wages for every year they've served. With more job losses forecast, those engaged in some of the routine work are being urged to adapt in order to remain relevant in the new order. There is some advisory work that will still be needed. The banks will be, still be very relevant, where you actually have to visit and talk to someone the way we are talking now and say, I want to invest in this particular industry. What will be your advice? The person will need to take that kind of information, prepare some research report and give you particular advice. If I was a bank teller right now, I'd be looking for some sort of an ICT course, um, data analysis, you know, um, something along those lines. because. As, the, as we digitize, a lot more of those skills are going to be required, and they're not presently here. Globally, they think that um, there are going to be 30 million jobs that are going to be wiped out, 30, traditional, 30 million traditional jobs that are going to be wiped out, but an additional 70 million are going to be created, centering in the ICT space. That means the relentless march towards automation isn't all doom and gloom, especially for those who are willing to embrace it. Farangwa Kutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.